Hello everybody, this is Mario Gasteres and today I'm going to show you something really cool. As you can see, we have a camera track turned into an object track. So let's get started. All right, so what you're going to want to do is first add a camera tracker and then a roto node and the roto node is going to be used to mask out the element that you want to track. All right, so you're going to go ahead and put the mask input into the roto node and change this to mask inverted alpha and now it should just track what you want to track. So go ahead and click track and then once you have your track, you're going to go ahead and solve it. All right, so now that it's solved, you're going to want to clean up your track as I am uh, speeding through here. And then we're going to add a write geo node. So in this write geo node, you're going to go ahead and just add a directory, name it, and then put .fbx at the end. Make sure that it's in the fbx format. Make sure all these are checked on. And then hit execute. It's going to write it out to file, and then we're going to switch to Maya. All right, now that we're in Maya, we're going to go ahead and go to file, import, and you're going to look for the fbx that you just exported out of Nuke. All right, so now that the uh, fbx is in the scene, you're going to want to go ahead and group all your locators and your camera. So you're just going to go to edit group and there you go you can name it scene whatever you want all right so now you want to model low res geometry even if it's just the cube okay so you're going to take that geometry duplicate it all right and then now you're going to duplicate the camera so make sure to use the duplicate special tool specifically for the camera and then copy these settings here all right duplicate special and then you're going to unparent that so just take it out of the group now take your duplicated geometry and parent it to your duplicated camera select the original geometry and the duplicated and add a parent constraint go to the options box and make sure to just copy these settings and now you're going to want to bake this animation so you're going to go ahead and select the duplicated geometry go to animation go to key bake animation and it should bake the whole thing all right when it's done baking you're going to go ahead and delete the parent constraint and then you're going to unparent the duplicated geometry, so just take it out of there. Select the duplicated camera and make sure to break the connections and then set the translate and rotate all to zero. All right, so now that these are all on zero, we're going to take the duplicated camera and the duplicated geometry and just put them in a new group. All right. Okay, so now on the first frame, go to the original camera, copy all of the keyframes, copy selected, go to the group and paste them into the group like so, and then you're going to break the connections just so that there's no animation on them. All right, so now you're just going to rename your scene to whatever you want. So I called my new scene. You're going to go into the camera, and as you can see, we are pretty much done now. So if I play this, you can see that the uh, geometry now moves with the truck, and everything is working totally fine. And if you want the locators to move along, just go ahead and parent the locators to the geometry. As you can see here, the geometry is moving and not the camera anymore. Uh, here's a look at the before, which um, you can see the camera is moving. And then here's the after where we got the object to move and the camera stays still. Here's just a side-by-side -side comparison so that you can see the difference from Nuke on the left and then the new one that we have in Maya on the right. All right, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you guys want a more in-depth version of this, uh, just let me know in the comments below so that I could do that because this was pretty fast, but I wanted to have this in a quick tip version for those of you who are advanced and just want to know the answer really quick. All right, so yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any uh, suggestions for new tutorials, put them down below. <laughs> and that'll be it for this video. So thank you for watching and bye.